No. Yes, good evening to the students of the SLW 646, Karibusana to my class. And uh, today that I would like to deal the sources of law in uh, international dispute settlement is concerned. Yes, anyone can mute, unmute and read that what I posted on the screen. Anyone can unmute and read what I posted on the screen. Anyone can unmute and read what I posted on the screen. Raymond, are you there? Okay, it takes time. Doesn't matter. Without wasting the time, I would like to go to my class. Yes. If you happen to see the syllabus, access to the international dispute settlement system, institutional proceedings that we dealt it, and participation will make it out. Sources law also we can make it out. And the evidence and stand of proof also we can make it out. But in this class that the sources of law that I would like to deal. Is it clear? Is it clear? Say yes. I, I did not get the voice from you. Okay, doesn't matter. That you, I, I believe that you are hearing me. So, without wasting the time, let us go to the Dorcas Karibusana. There is a source of law for the international dispute settlement. I read the caption. Anyone can unmute to read the caption? which I highlighted here. Chapter 2, Sources of Law for International Dispute Settlement. Yes, that we'll see because we have here the source of law. Is it clear? Access to the international dispute legal system, source of law. Did you see it? Say yes or no. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, now let us see that uh, 2.1 Charter of the United Nations. Actually, it is the mother of law or source of law. So, this charter provides in its chapter 1 purpose and principles that the purpose of the UN are dash, 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 I mean, 1 dot, 2 dot, 3 dot. What do you call this one? If one dot is there, we can say full stop. Two dot is there, there is no meaning. But the two dot in vertical is there, there is a column. But the three dots are there in horizontal, what do you call? If you know it, you tell me. If you don't know it, say pass on. I will give the answer. Yes? You did not hear me. Three dots horizontal. Did you see here? Did you see here the cursor I am moving? Yes, proof. Three dots horizontal. What do yes, you call? Yes, proof. What do you call? Ellipsis. Ellipsis. E double -L, L I P S I S. Ellipsis. Three dots means other things are there but is unwanted time being and hence we can say ellipsis. Is it clear? Say yes. Yes, prof. Good. U N R ellipsis. Three dots to maintain the international peace and security and to that end to take effective collective measures for the prevention and removal of the threats to the place and for the suppression of the acts of aggression or other breaches of this peace and to bring about the peaceful means and in conformity with the principles of justice and international law, adjustment or settlement of international dispute or situation 
which might lead to a breach of peace. That is the source of the UN Charter will make it out. It is a primary and prime source of uh, international dispute resolution or international dispute settlement. Is it clear? Say yes or no. Yes. Dorcas, are you there? Yes, bro. Very good. I appreciate it. Because I want to your, hear your sound. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Mute. Mute now. So, Charter also provides in the same chapter that the organization and its members in pursuit of the purpose stated in the Article 1 shall act in accordance with the, amongst others, the following principles. Tanzania is the member for the Charter. India is the member of the Charter. How many members are there in the UNO? Answer, Arse Pasan. One ninety-four. Of course, three are four. Three are there. Still, they did not make it out. They are in the hole. That's why it becomes one ninety-seven. Okay. I quote: All members shall settle their international disputes by peaceful means in such a manner that the international peace and security and justice are not entangled. It furthermore, in Chapter Six, Pacific Settlement of Dispute states that. Then, actually, there, there should be unquote which should be there, but the unquote is not made. So, chapter 6 of the Pacific Settlement of the Disputes states that, and it is clearly made, the parties to any dispute, the continuance of which is likely to enlarge the maintenance of the international peace and security, shall first of all seek a solution by non non judicial bodies namely negotiation inquiry mediation conciliation arbitration <laughs> judicial settlement resort to the regional agencies or arrangements or other peaceful means of their choice which is clearly mentioned in the article 33 Rayman, do you want to speak? Or you want to unmute it? Mute it. So, this is the specific settlement under chapter 6 is given. By these methods, the amicable settlement would be there in the international disputes. So, 2.2 says declaration and resolution of the General Assembly. So, the principle of the peaceful settlement of the disputes has been reaffirmed in the matter of the General Assembly resolution, including the resolution of the 26-27 of 24th October 1970 and another is 27-34, that is the 16th December 1970. The two resolutions are there. And 40 Public 9 of the 8th November 1985. Can we remember in the examination this resolution? Answer, no. So what you have to do? A general assembly resolutions are there and it is deal comprehensively in the declaration on the principle of the international law concerning the friendly relations and cooperation among the states in accordance with the charter of the United Nations resolution. So you have to write in the general assembly made in some resolution as per the charter to resolve the member state for the amicable settlement of the international disputes are concerned. That way you have to write it in the exam. The principle that states shall settle their international dispute by peaceful means in such a manner that international peace and security and justice are not endangered. So the member states, the principles is that the state should settle their international dispute by means of a such a manner 
that international peace and security and justice are not endangered. Yes, as well as in Marail Declaration on the Peaceful Settlement International Dispute is the another declaration is there, Marail, and in the declaration on the prevention and the removal of the disputes and situation which may threaten the international peace and security on the role of the United Nations in this field and in the declaration of fact finding by the United Nations in the field of maintenance of the international peace and security. So, in just what you have to say is, General Assembly resolutions are there to resolve the disputes and the declarations also there in the international for the friendly relation to resolve the dispute. In addition to that one, the Marail Declaration also there for the peaceful settlement of the dispute and uh, Declaration of the Prevention and the Removal of Disputes also there international to bring the international peace and security and the role of the United Nations in the field in the declaration and fact finding of the United Nations. So in short you have to give the gist of it for the international peace and security maintenance by the UN General Assembly. So next 2.3 corollary and related thing is what other things source are there? The principle of the peaceful settlement of the international dispute is linked to various other principles of international law. What are they? Under the declaration on friendly relations, the principle deal with the declaration, namely, the number one, the principle that the state refrain in their international relation from the threat and the use of force, use of force against the territorial integrity and political independence of any state or any other manner inconsistent with the purpose of the United Nations. So other declarations also there which are correlated to it that is the declaration of the friendly relations. Even that also a source of source of international law in settlement of the international disputes. Is it clear? Yes, bro. Then these are all we can eliminate it because we already dealt declaration on the friendly relationship also is one of the source to deal the international peace among the member states. So these are all the other explanations are there. The final act of the Conference of Security Cooperation in the Europe adopted in the Helsinki on the first 1975. No, you can also eliminate it because these are all the explanation for the same. So now we can go to the, the links, the principle of the peaceful settlement of the disputes and other specific principles of international law are highlighted both in the friendly relations declarations and the Manila declaration. And we already dealt the Manila declaration for the international resolving the disputes are concerned. So Manila declaration as follows. And they have given the, the characteristic or the feature of the Manila Declaration. Number one, the principle of non-use of the force in international relation. We should not use the force. Two, the principle of non-intervention in the internal affairs of the external affairs of the state. One should not interfere. Any state cannot interfere in the internal or the external affairs of the states when resolving the disputes. Three, principle of the equal rights and self-determination of the people. They do have the equal right and self-determination to deal what they want to do. And a fourth, principle of the sovereign equality of the state. No state can encroach on the sovereignty of the another state because each state is a sovereign state. And a fifth, five, principle of international law concerning the sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity of the state. Yes, sovereignty should be maintained, independence of the state should be maintained and territorial integrity of this should be maintained in resolving the legal dispute between the states or among the states. And sixth, good faith in the international relation. They should have to come forward with the good faith to maintain the, resolve the international dispute settlement. And the seventh, the principle of justice and international law. And international law would be followed over there. Again, the principle of justice should be followed. That means justice 
to be done and it seems to be done. So that would be the idea behind it. So Manila Declaration also one of the source for the international dispute system. Yes, how many sources till you got it? Let me review it. How many sources you got it? I remember two, Professor. Only two. We discussed four now. Number one, UN Charter. Number two, General Assembly. Number three, Declaration of the Friendly States. Number four, Manila Declaration. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Yes, see, I have given you the in nutshell. Just you can write for each one at least two or three lines enough. You need not to remember the which resolution, which chapter, when you make it out. It cannot be that much easy even for me also. So free choice of means. Okay. Now let us see what is the free choice of means. This is laid down in the article 33, para 1 of the Charter of the United Nations and reiterated in the fifth paragraph of the relevant section of the Friendly Relation Declaration. It reads about the Friendly Relation Declaration in section 1, para 3 and 10 of the Manila Declaration. Again, the two things have come, the choice, UN Charter, Friendly, uh, friendly Relation Declaration and Manila Declaration. And uh, earlier we already dealt it, that is the uh, General Assembly. Is it clear? Say yes or say no. Yes, sir. Yes. So Manila Declaration, make it clear that recourse to acceptance of the settlement process freely agreed with regard to the existing or the future dispute shall be regarded as incompatible with the sovereign equality of the state. It is the state can adapt both the states, either UN Charter or the General Assembly or the Friendly Relation Declaration, or the Manila Declaration. Is it clear? That is the choice of means. So the means listed in the Article 33 of the Charter are, again, other, other, other means also here. Number one, negotiation. Number two, mediation. Number three, conciliation. Number four, arbitration. Number five, judicial settlement. Number six, report to the regional arrangement or agencies. Number seven, other peaceful means of parties' own choice. They can go for their own choice. If a man and a woman, both are major, do they have the freedom to marry each other? Give me the answer. Did you understand the question first? Amna Kimia. No silence. Speak. I say speak. Dorcas, you speak. Raymond is not having the good voice. Breaking. Dorcas, you speak. Raymond, you unmute. Dorcas, you speak. I ask you to repeat the question. Shall I repeat the question? Yes, bro. A man and a woman, both are major, both are sane, both are educated, could marry each other or not? Do they have liberty to marry each other or not? Unless there is a consanguinity is not there. A close relationship is not there. 
But there is no such a legal hindrance. Could they marry each other or not? That is my question. They can marry each other. It is their choice because law would allow them. They are the majors. They are the same. And there is no such a legal hindrance for their marriage. And hence they can marry. In the same manner, the parties can choose any one of the method to resolve the disputes. Can any other person will make an objection? Say answer yes or no. Say yes or no answer or you say repeat the question. Amna Kimia. No silent. Your silence will kill me. No. no. Raymond, you sit in a nice place where the signals are more and you can load at least 1000, 2000 before coming to my class. Your voice is breaking. Answer is the party can choose any methods. Either the legal methods or the non-legal methods. They can choose the diplomatic methods or a judicial methods. Or they can choose for the regional in agencies also. So nobody would stop them to choose. That's why I have given the example. Nobody would stop a man and woman having the same mind having the majority and there is no legal implication or hindrances, they can marry each other. Irrespective of the color, caste, creed, culture and place of birth. Is it clear? Say yes. Is it clear? Sir, we don't know. You have to give the answer, otherwise I cannot move forward, forward. I cannot move further. Participants, amna kimia, amna silence, no silence. Unmute and give me the answer. Sir, we don't give the answer, sir. You teach, sir, just go away. Okay, if it is that is your answer, I will continue. I'm in a place where it is not quiet. What is that? Shall I proceed? Proceed. Okay. Under the friendly relation declaration, under the Manila Declaration, it is for the parties to agree on such peaceful means as may be appropriate to the circumstances and the nature of their disputes. Yes, the party can choose either the Manila Declaration or the Friendly Relation Declaration, any one of them. Is it clear? So now, how many sources of law is there? Now tell me. For the international dispute settlement. They are four. Narrate them. Enumerate them. The UN Charter, go ahead. I told you just before UN Charter, number one, number two, General Assembly, number three. 
relation declaration number 4 manila declaration is it clear say yes yes sir yeah we don't have the concept here and we don't study the other aspect of it also because we know what is the international disputes are concerned principle of the peaceful settlement of the disputes between the states how it can be done i already told you but still we can make a hint here article 2 paragraph 3 of the un charter requires that all members shall settle their international dispute by peaceful means in such a manner that international peace and security and justice these are the important punch words what are the punch words that international peace and security and justice no we should not say the and and two times international peace security and justice are not endangered that is a punch word the un general assembly in adapting its 1982 manila declaration on the peaceful settlement of the dispute emphasized that need to exert at most efforts in order to settlement any conflicts and dispute between the states exclusively with the peaceful means and that the question of the peaceful settlement of dispute should represent one of the concern of the state of the United Nation. In the age of the nuclear weapons, the importance of the principle of the peaceful settlement in international dispute is apparent, indispensable, must, because of now a nuclear weapons are made by many countries even once it is used over there all the living creatures will be died all the living man, things will be died such a powerful the nuclear weapons is there so we are not going to discuss what is their international dispute and everybody knows and hence i am i am skipping this one and what we need to settle the internet dispute we, we need not bother about it one because we have to study the other things which are very much useful to us like uh, I have given here yes see the sources of law that we made it then let us check it what is the participation let me see what is if there is a participation is there or not let us check it Peaceful settlement, dispute ICJ, peaceful settlement, peaceful, 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 yeah. Then we can say the other point which we will be covering here is standing process, yeah, process and procedure also there. Let us see if anything is there in the process and procedure. Peaceful settlement, peaceful settlement, again peaceful settlement, interstate. And uh, of course, here the peaceful settlement of the dispute in the ICJ is there. And there, they have given certain principles, ICJ. This is ICJ. And uh, of course, Chadi, they have given basic jurisdiction. Okay, let us see the jurisdiction at least. Yeah, we will see some of the jurisdiction. Why ICJ? The other aspect also we can see. Not only the ICJ, we can see the other aspect of also jurisdiction. Yes, jurisdiction. We studied the jurisdiction immunity of the regional organization already. We studied the immunity of the regional organization and the judicial immunity also we studied and litigation also we studied over there. Then what is left? Let me check it once again to make it out. Okay, now I will show you the another aspect of it. Yeah, could you see it? what it is? Can you read it? Would I post it on the screen? Participants, could you read it what I posted on the screen? Unmute and say, don't be silent. 
Don't be silent. Unmute and say. Or read. Dorcas, Raymond, unmute and read. You are not reading. I don't know why or what happened to you. Yes, here I have shown the how a dispute can be made in a different, different style. Arbitration 6 points and here litigation 5% and negotiation 31%, mediation 24%, conciliation 10%, Finding, fact finding 8%, DAB 9%, mini trial 7%, arbitration 6%. Then what is this DAB? Participants, tell me what is this DAB? Sir, we don't know. Say we don't know. Unmute and say we don't know. Unmute and say we don't know. We don't know, sir. Why you are taking so much time to say? I, I repeated at least five to ten times. Unmute and say that I don't know. DAB means read now. Read now, DAB means. I said read now. Dispute Adjudication Board. Go ahead. Okay, I will read. I will read. Your voice is breaking. Your voice is breaking. I read. Mute. Mute. I read. Mute. Mute, I said. I said you avoidance and adjudication board. You I don't know why you are not hearing. I said mute because your voice is breaking. I already told you. Dispute adjudication board within parenthesis DAB and dispute avoidance and adjudication board that the DAAB are on the job site dispute adjudication process comprising one or three independent and impartial persons selected by the contracting parties. So that is the DAB and DAAB. It is also plays an important role. And he said DAB roles is 9% and a mini trial is 7%, arbitration is 6%, litigation is 5%. Which is the highest one? Which is the highest one? Yes. Negotiation. Negotiation. See here. The cursor I am moving. Negotiation is the highest. Next highest. Next highest. Next highest. Mediation. Mediation. Speak loudly. Keep your mouth near to the gad gate and speak loudly. Of course, the other things that you can know it, uh, some is 10%, some is 5%, 7%, the third is a concili conciliation. So, these are the methods where we can find and how it can be resolved. So now let us see, I could share anything today's class, like uh, peaceful settlement schedule and uh, we have dealt already the order of the privileges and immunities of the international peacekeeping is concerned. And let us see the, if there is any evidence that is there. Yes, evidence and proof. This is also there in our syllabus. 
evidence and proof. I will show you where it is there in the our syllabus. See, participation is there, evidence and standard of proof. Did you see it? Evidence and standard of proof also there. So now let us see that what is the evidence and the standard of proof. In summary, the chapter discusses the rules and procedures governing the evidence and burden of proof in WTO dispute settlement proceedings because it is WTO also international. Is it or not? Say yes. So the chapter explains. Yes, the chapter explains that the WTO follows the normal rule that a party is setting a fact or claim bears the burden of establishing that fact or claim. As usual, how a evidence should be proved either in the civil case or in the criminal case, but here only the civil cases are concerned. It is not about the criminal cases and the chapter discusses the types of evidence that may be submitted in the WTO dispute settlement proceedings, including through the use of the expert, particularly in the case of the involving the SPS measures. I don't know how many people know what is SPS measures. Anyone? What is this SPS measures? Can you tell me? Sir, we don't know. Okay. I will show you. HPS measures means in dispute settlement. Now read. What is SPS measures? Read. SPS measures include all relevant. <coughs> what is the full form of SPS? The SPS. The SPS. Full form of SPS. The SPS. The full form of SPS. See, it is given here. Sanitary and phytosanitary measures. SPS means sanitary and phytosanitary. Repeat. Sanitary and phytosanitary measures. Yes, that is SPS. Example of the SPS measures include requirement for the products to come from the disease-free areas, specific treatment or processing of product and their and thresholds for an pesticide residues and permitted use of certain additive in food means free from all other sanitary and cytosanitary measures that is the SBS measures it says regarding the evidence is concerned the chapter examines the standard of the reviews used in WTO disputes settlement proceedings the chapter also discusses the special rules of governing the confidential information including the rules of governing the business confidential information and other categories of the very sensitive information. That means the way the proof and evidence would be adduced in the civil cases in the same manner, the same type of the evidence would be adduced and proved and taken and relevant in all the international disputes are concerned. Same rule under domestic rule, domestic law could be used over there in the matter of the evidence and proof is concerned. Suppose if a dispute between a Hindu and Muslim is there in Tanzania, which law would be applicable? I mean crime. Islam. I say crime. A Christian and a Muslim, there is a crime. There is a murder, there is a rape, there is a decoity. Which law would be applicable? Penal code. Penal code would be applicable. Means domestic law would be applicable. In the same manner, if any disputes arise over there, the domestic law could be applied unless until it is agreed in the Agreement. 
इज इट क्लियर यस सी इन द एग्रीमेंट देर आर सर्टेन प्रोविजन आर देयर ऑन द चार्टर देर आर प्रोविजन आर देयर बट ऑल थिंग्स विल नॉट बी देयर इन द चार्टर इन जनरल द एविडेंसेस शुड बी देयर एज यूजल लाइक द मुंसिपल लॉ विच विल बी टेकन द जनरल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लॉ द सेम वुड बी एप्लीकेबल ओवर देयर then you can ask me sir which country evidence could be applied where the general principle of the evidence is concerned it doesn't make any difference which country it is because it is like a two in Sana sikiliza mimi darasa online Mungu akubariki na kukulinda